Excuse me, it's not funny right now. Everybody knows who Natalie Nunn is. Natalie Nunn doesn't have to spend a dollar. Natalie Nunn runs LA. The dress is important because it needs to be perfect, just like me. And while Natalie goes to get changed. I know. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm putting this on first. And bad girl Kristen. I think that everyone's just kind of jealous of the fact that I look so good in the bridesmaids dresses. I mean, it's not my fault that I'm a 10. I mean, I am Kristen. It's not my fault that I have an amazing body. Do you know what this looks like to me? Like, like, like a bed sheet. Kristen is like saying little things like the dress is, looks cheap. Your boob job is cheaper than my dress. Bitch, shut the f up. I am bringing Bria and Kristen because they are my two bridesmaids that are the thickest in certain areas. We're getting body wrapped so we can get our skinny on. I don't really need to get my skinny on, but Natalie definitely does. Natalie, never send a groom to do a Zilla's job. Why am I being called about resizing the ring? I gave you one, two, three tasks today. Three, that's it. We'll find one better. Because the bitch lied. Get, get the money back. All of it. I want all the cash back. Now. Oh, poor Jacob. You should call this guy. I feel like she's really putting him down, demasculatizing him. Um, that was a word. We'll just go with it. Demasculatizing. We don't have tables and chairs. <laughs> What happened to the tables and chairs? Someone's up, so someone's going home. I cannot be doing all of this. That's why I'm giving everybody duties. And apparently, Natalie's number one duty is screaming at her worker bees. I don't give a if people get mad if I cuss and yell and scream. When it comes down to business, I handle business. Bitch, my money is very green over here. So what the is the problem? I talk like, oh. The sky is blue and the flowers are blooming and blah, blah, blah. Everybody's going to breeze by with this. If I yell and I scream and I let them know, then the jobs get done. How dare you ruin Natalie's wedding? Like, that is bad business. I am not bad business. What the is everybody doing? It's time to get the whole team together so that I can remind everyone who's boss and make it real clear. I don't like people who make things difficult for me. I'm not trying to defend her side, mm -hmm. but a Hollywood event on TV, because she... Thinks that I'm gonna be a crazy bride and maybe take one of her chairs and smash it over someone's head. She's absolutely right, it might be hers. Please handle it correctly. I really don't wanna have to be the bad person. I'm always the bad guy. When can Natalie be the good girl? Um, do you really want anyone to answer that? She can make like a 100 cupcakes for us. It's the same batter. It's the same that she's putting in the cake, just little cupcakes. I could do that. Should I start making cupcakes for myself too? We have six white doves for um, $150. Six doves? We might blink and miss one. I'm so happy that you are in my life. If you need to go to jail, I'm here for you. I'm not done with that. How about... Jacob thinks that it's stupid that we get a prenup because we're gonna spend the rest of our life together, blah, 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 but the truth of the matter is that's not how life ever really is. And that we don't forget about the most important thing in the world, which is money. Let's make one thing clear. What's mine is always gonna be mine. What's mine is mine and what's yours is mine too. Personally, I think a prenup is just setting up for a divorce. I think Erin is a stupid bitch and she said love is more important than anything. Oh my God, give me out. <laughs> I said I was four and I didn't know my ass and got so big overnight. The insurance bull is like the biggest headache for me right now. And I'm so tired of hearing about the insurance for this dress. Well, I'm just gonna tell you right now before you hang up, I'm doing you a favor. Really, ultimately, at the end of the day, you're not doing for me. I'm just wearing your dress. I'm wearing your dress for you. This is benefiting you. I'm not spending $50,000. Because the reception part is to have fun. Now they're coming at me with big ass bills. I'm not doing it, no. Who the f pays for a f party when I get paid to show up to a f party? Let the bitches in the VIP. I'm about to walk in. Natalie Nunn's here, blah, 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 blah. Natalie, Natalie, Natalie's here. Jacob, bam. We gotta go. My dad's at the airport. What? How 
dare you have me walking down the streets of L.A., the city I run, running after you. Now I'm done. Nope, 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 done. Next time, I have it arranged. My people ain't Hollywood like you. Who's Hollywood? Huh. Who's Hollywood? Huh. You're unprofessional. You for <laughs> Okay, girls, we have eight bridesmaids and six dresses that match. Mimi's gonna hold my dress. I don't think she's too happy about it, but I honestly could care less. I don't want my wedding pictures looking all mismatching and messed up. But I told you I needed you here at 8 a.m. No, day. you never told me that. When Hold on a second. That? You did say you were going to be coming from somewhere, but you said... I said my flight gets in at 10 o'clock. Anthony should have changed his flight. Have a good wedding, Natalie. Oh, whoa. Not so fast, Anthony. You handle this then. Get the upstairs and do this then. With Natalie's wedding morning already overloaded with drama, the biggest storm is yet to come. My caterer was supposed to arrive hours ago. Where the f is she? Who the f introduced that bitch to me in the first place? Erica. Right now, bring her up here right now. I'm not playing no mother games. Empathy is not Arzilla's strong suit. Where are you? I'm on my way. The food isn't here. When it's time for me to eat, I really will show you an Oakland ass bitch. I'll go to jail for some chicken. You might as well paint that dress red. Like I'm mad as Let me do my interview and then I can go downstairs and cuss you the out, smack the out of whoever is not here, and then I can come back up here, walk down the aisle like I'm a princess that I'm not. Just when Natalie's rant seems to be coming to an end, she spots something or someone that really makes her see red. You need to get here now. Joyce, get the f away from me right now. Get out of my f face. Hours late on my f wedding day. Have you lost your f damn mind? The dress just isn't fitting like it's supposed to. I was hungry last night. I swear to God, I can't breathe. Oh my God, I can't breathe. Natalie is looking a little heavier than she's ever looked before. I mean, clearly she's gained a few LBs, but, you know, more cushion for the pushing. Okay, I need a fan. You need a fan. Get my assistance now. Don't you dare embarrass her. Some people you just can't take nowhere. Get your bitch ass up, boy. What are you guys arguing about right now? You better shut your bitch ass up. Shut it up, You're not gonna get away beat your ass in a minute. Don't you mess with Granny. My grandma is crazy. It goes grandma nun, then Natalie nun. Like, don't play with me. Don't play with my grandma. Watch out, because we got something for you. Sit down right now. I'm not playing with nobody in this bitch right now. Sit down. Sit down. You are my favorite uncle. Do not do that to me, because I will do anything in this world for you. Do not do that to me. That is disrespectful. All right. Take the Jacob Payne. The Jacob Payne. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. <laughs> We're not sure if Natalie is having second thoughts or her circulation is being cut off by her designer dress. <laughs> I really didn't get to see my doves fly off. I really only saw like the back end of them. Natalie needs to pose for her adoring press. This is not a publicity stunt. Do not post any pictures. And take the time to give a personal greeting to a very special VIP guest, actress Megan Good. Ah! Boom! Bridezilla's in the building. Hey! Jacob has a really big penis. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you. I couldn't ask for a bigger penis. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Amen.